a disappointing loss from a standpoint we had so many opportunities. Uh, the, the red letter things that hop out at me are an 11 for 25 from the free throw line as a group. Uh, And uh, not even the sheer number of turnovers, but, but the types of turnovers we had at times um, just weren't good enough that way. Also, uh, that's the first team that's really gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with us on the glass. Uh, and Lacey, Lacey was, a, was a problem for us tonight. Levi didn't have his gaudy numbers, but getting Doug into foul trouble, or I'm sorry, Jason into foul trouble was a was an issue tonight as well. Questions? How do you fix free throws besides what them out? I mean, this had been like cropped up consistently this year. How disappointing is it? Or really disappointing just because you, you just shoot more. I mean, honestly, we actually spent this weekend shooting a lot of them. We did because uh, we had time to. Uh, it's been something we've been practicing, and if you'd asked me what, what's going to come up and bite us, I don't think that would have been in my top five. But you got to got to learn to step up there and make them when when it's on the line. And we didn't do that. You've been fighting turnovers all year, and you, you mentioned this already. The numbers are down, but the the two in transition there at the end of regulation half. Those are the kinds that you're, you're really highlighting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the one we – TK had a wide-open guy. I mean, the guy within – nobody's within 15 feet of him, and he just rushed the pass, and it just came out of his hand awfully funny and didn't carry far enough. Uh, the back tap can't happen. It just can't. we got to have that possession. Now, we did get the next stop, and it ended up being – but uh, those bother me. I think they bother everybody. Jason's minutes were limited until the end there because of the foul trouble. Did, but did you guys do a good enough job of getting him involved throughout the course of the game? You know, he was in foul trouble so early that we didn't have enough flow. We had play calls for him that we never got to because he wasn't out there by the time we got to him. Uh, but if, if the answer is just seven shots enough for Jason Carter, the easy answer is yes. He ended up with with 24 minutes, but those were pretty jagged and thrown in there. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, and he did. I mean, he made big plays late. We, we got him the ball in the post. We got him on a couple drives, and he, he made some big plays. But uh, the sheer minutes didn't allow us to, to feature him as much as we like to. Anything? Had fewer turnovers in the second half, but looked much more inefficient on that end of the floor. Well, I, to, to pinpoint one thing that was different, no, I wouldn't say that that was the case. Uh, we didn't shoot it as well uh, without without Jason, Jason out there. We bogged down a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. We bogged down a little bit offensively. Uh, just, just didn't get the job done. We, did, we didn't. I don't think we cashed in enough offensive rebounds in the second half either. But no, in terms of what we were trying to do, nothing changed. Our effectiveness at doing it definitely did. Yeah, I mean, you you just keep working at it, honestly. You know, you, you mention the number because it's there. It, it was a huge narrative in this game tonight. But to, to dwell on it is counterintuitive to anybody that's ever played basketball. You just work at it. We'll just shoot more tomorrow.
kid from the scoring scene, Yeah, that, I think that start is something we'd all like to see more out of him. Uh, we dialed up his number a bunch. He had enough minutes, but that that element of the game doesn't come as natural for him as passing it. And again, some of that's just got to change on his part because we could use him to be more aggressive for himself. Well, you, you, you just look at film. I, I don't think there's anybody more invested in doing the little things and trying to make sure that this program succeeds than Doug. Uh, so, you know, trying to try to figure trying to figure out a place where you need to get him fired up really isn't applicable to him. Uh, he just needs to needs to see how and why he got beat, and he'll go to work at making sure that he. Does it next time? The, uh, the final sequence there. How do you handle that with, with Ben Grant, the father of the kid who's done his first real minutes as a college player, gets the big shot that makes it a free throw that probably would have been easy for him? Take on that leave any kind of hangover effect with Ben? You know, how will he respond to that kind of that kind of play? I think he'll handle it well. He's a winner and uh, one of the smartest human beings I know, and. My guess is that all he wants to do is get up there next time and try to make it. I think that's how any competitor feels. Uh, you can use it to drive you forward, or you can allow it to weigh you down. You say that this is I mean, just one loss, but is this kind of like a, uh, a little bit of a gut check on you guys early, how you were on the road for two games? How do you approach the contact? But we got to know. If you're in the MAC, this, is, this kind of night happens. It does, and uh, you don't want it to be your first one out of the gate. But uh, there, there's a lot of games left, and to, to get too wacky about where we are right now in the grand scheme of life would be taking away from what is really important, which is improving a little better, uh, improving a little offensively. It, it, it's you know, trying to take care of some of those mental mistakes that we make from time to time. Were you happy with, with what you saw from Antonio? Uh, I thought he'd been, he's been given open jumpers, and today, at least in the first half, he made some of those. Is that an area that can help you guys moving forward? Yeah, yeah, he, he hits them in practice. Uh, it actually probably surprised me a little bit that he didn't wasn't hitting him on a more consistent basis uh, in games because I, I believe that he can hit them. But uh, I tell you what, if, if you're a guy like him and you're bringing what you're bringing on, a, on the defensive end, because he did another terrific job tonight, but you're doing that and giving us anything on the offensive end, that is a tremendous positive for our team. Yeah, yeah. I mean, ball moved. He ended up with two assists. I think they're all pretty normal passes, just station to station. But yeah, yeah, he did fine. We maybe need to get him involved a little bit more. But again, that's that's a process.